Good afternoon, everyone. I feel really honored to stand here. And uh, the subject of my presentation is the recombinant den dengue virus to NS5, an effective antigen for diagnosis of dengue infections. Uh, dengue virus belongs to flavor dial families and uh, are classified in two four immunologically distinct serotypes, can cause disease ranging from non-specific fever illness to classic dengue fever, dengue hemorrhagic fever, and uh, dengue shock syndrome. Among the DHF and DSS are fatal, are often fatal. And uh, dengue fever is endemic in tropic and subtropic climates. There are nearly 390 million dengue virus infections occur annually. And uh, over the past decades, dengue fever has separated from less than 9 to currently about 128 endemic countries. Uh, dengue virus is transmitted by female mosquitoes, mainly H. Uh, Egypti and uh, inch alpicters. All the serotypes can be transmitted from human to human. And the individuals infected by any one serotype will have lifelong immunity against reinfection of the same serotype, but only par partially protected from other serotypes. Infections with a different serotype are associated with a higher risk of severe complications such as DHF and DSS due to ADE infection. And the dengue virus is also a prototype of other flu viruses. For example, the Zika virus. This, hom this homology raises the risk of cross-reactive immune responses and subsequent ADE or infections in the case of secondary infections or immunization of the individuals. And the recent outbreak of Zika virus epidemics has raised a growing concern with both viruses. Around early 2016, the first dengue vaccine has been marketed in several countries, but uh, accumulating response indicates that this vaccine did not achieve the desired effect. And uh, it should be take conscious that uh, this this vaccine <laughs> this vaccine might be uh, cause ADE infect in populations. Uh, here are some prevention and control strategies are proposed and practiced in dengue in endemic regions, but none of them achieve the effect. Uh, dengue diagnosis is based on epidemic information, clinical sympt symptoms, and combined laboratory detections, although there is no specific treatment. Early diagnosis is important for proper medical care to minimize mortality and for proper initiation of public health control measures. Um, there are several approaches to establish laboratory diagnosis and uh, <coughs> this assists are of different, different uh, specificity and sensitivity and uh, require more than two detections to detection indicators, any single indicators is not enough to provide a reliable and effective results. And uh, uh, there are some rapid diagnosis, uh, diagnosis of antigen detection and uh, antibody, antibody detection uh, targeting NS1 are now com commercially available, but uh, this both of them require all the four <coughs> serotypes of recombinant NS1. Why are we interested in NS5? 
dengue virus NS5 are highly conserved among serotypes that have not been found to participate in the ADE phenomenon. Dengue single open reading framework encodes a poly polyprotein precursor which is clearly by cellular and viral proteins into structure, in structural and non-structural proteins. NS1 and NS5 uh, appear almost at the same time, and uh, NS5 consists of two major functional domains. The N-terminal RNA methyl transferase domain and the C-terminal RNA-dependent RNA polymerase um, domain. And the NS5 IDRP domain plays a vital role in viral RNA replications like other polymerases. Dengue virus RNA process an architecture that is consoled across different classes and families of polymerases. This structure mimics a half-closed right hand with the three subdomains termed the finger, palm, and thumb. NS5 potential to be an antiviral target and a biomarker of dengue diagnosis. Our, we constructed a, a RDRT, NS5 RDRP domain uh, expression placements and of NS5 four length uh, expression pla placements and expressed a, a purified a, a 70 kdol kdo fragment and NS5 a four length fragment in E. coli. And these two purified recombinant products reacted with zero of patients affected with dengue virus in an ELISA with higher OD index, index, index with compared with the control zero. And the recombinant dengue virus to NS5 showed strong reactivity for any of the four serotypes, while the 70 kdo fragment shows strong reactive for dengue virus 2 and 4. Uh, and the dengue virus 2 NS5 might be an effective antigen for dengue diagnosis and the 7 Kindle fragment also can be used for auxiliary diagnosis. Thank you. Thank you.